Yeah, welcome back to Atreya News. Sad. Look at the ridiculous gun control regulation a California lawmaker is pushing. The cursed state of California. Democratic State Senator Anthony Portholatino is pushing a new restriction that says California residents can only purchase one gun per month. From the LA Times, <laughs> one gun per month, that's funny. Alarmed by the amount of gun violence and the activity of straw firearm purchasers, one state lawmaker has revived a proposal to prohibit Californians from buying more than one gun a month. Senator Anthony said his measures would close a loophole by including long guns in a monthly buying limit that currently only applies to handguns. He noted that the 26,000 guns used in crimes that were entered in a California Department of Justice automated firearm system database in one recent year, 11,500 were long guns. But they, what they won't mention is that upwards of 90% of those perpetrated were not legitimate gun owners. They weren't licensed. They didn't go through the screening. Portatino said there's no reason why someone would need to buy more than one long gun each month. This is not the Wild West, he said. California is in the 21st century and you shouldn't be able to walk into a gun store and come out with an arsenal. One reason for the bill is concern about the straw purchases who legally buy guns in bulk and then illegally sell them on the black market, often to criminals who are not eligible to buy guns. About half of the guns seized by the State Department of Justice agents from people ineligible to own them are long guns, he said. He cited data from the Department of Justice that found one person bought 177 long guns in two transactions with, within one month period in 2014. Sales to single individuals ranging from 5 to 54 long guns per month occurred in 1,787 occasions, totaling 12,000 guns during the year and a half period ending June 30th of 2015. The bill is basically just saying, people, be reasonable, take a time out. We should not have a, such a prolification of weapons out in the Main Street, California. However, opponents of the bill, including some parades, say we'll do nothing to reduce crime because those intent on breaking the law will still sell guns on the black market. Bingo. This does not prevent straw purchases from breaking the law, said Parades, executive director of Gun Owners of California, a political action committee. They are only passing laws that affect law-abiding citizens. This doesn't affect criminals. And he's 100% right, and I agree with him, based on the fact that this bill was designed to be a stepping stone for something greater. It's not about keeping people safe. What they're really proposing is that if they can pass this bill, then they can pass something else to the point of banning all firearms, which has always been their major goal. Breaking. A plane has just crashed in California. A plane has crashed in California, leaving one fatality. Oakdale, California. One person died when a plane crashed at the Oklahoma Oakdale Airport. County Fire Department said one person on board the plane when it crashed, officials said. Multiple agencies are at the scene investigating the crash. No other details were released. Well, that sucks. Governor Huckabee tries jerking liberals back to reality about Attorney General asking U.S. attorneys to resign. What is everybody upset about? This is what happens every four years or every time there's a change of administration, so cry me a river. I would have put effing in there. Cry me an effing river. Gave his take on the Attorney General asking the remaining 46 U.S. attorneys who served under Obama to resign. I know it's funny, the left will go completely ape shit. They're like, oh, he's a tyrannical government leader. But this literally does happen every four years. But it still does feel good to see Obama's uh, lawyers leave. Wow, Trump says what no one else would about Obamacare. President Trump has stated that Barack Obama deliberately timed Obamacare to become problematic for a budgetary reinsurgence and pricing perspective the moment Obama left office. From Politico, President Trump suggested Friday that his predecessor's signature legislative achievement is a ticking time bomb that was set to detonate once former President Barack Obama left office. 
Trump defended the rapid pace at which Republicans are trying to usher through legislation to repeal and replace Obama's Affordable Care Act. The House plan unveiled late Monday as the American Health Care Act has already gone through committee markups and advanced through key panels as Republicans rush to meet an April deadline to sign the first phase of Trump's three-pronged plan to repeal and replace Obamacare. We must act now to save Americans from the imploding Obamacare disaster, Trump said Friday during a meeting on health care with Vice President Mike Pence and House Committee Chairman. Premiums have skyrocketed by double digits and triple digits in some cases. Trump continued citing Arizona's increase in example, and it's going up a lot higher. 17 would be a disaster for Obamacare. That's the year it was meant to explode because Obama won't be here. That was when it was supposed to be even worse. Well, it makes sense. Trump applauded the committee chairman for their diligent work to advance the legislation which many Republicans campaigned on. That's what people want, Trump asserted. They want repeal and replace. Despite the president's bullishness of his efforts to make good on his campaign pledge to repeal and replace Obamacare, he faces dissonance from members of his own party. The elimination of Obamacare's Medicaid expansion and the proposal to replace insurance subs subsidies with tax credits have divided centrist and far-right Republicans from agreeing on a plan that could advance through both the House and the Senate. Trump, however, disregarded the intraparty intra-party divisions and the pace which legislation moves through Congress. This is the time we're going to get it done, he said. We're working together. We have some great results. We have tremendous spirit, and I think it's something that's just going to happen very shortly. For his part, Trump pitched the House plan Friday as a proposal that ends Obamacare tax hikes, saving hundreds of billions of dollars, he said, and the law's unpopular individual mandate, which he said forces Americans to buy government-approved plans. As far as Obamacare, he warned, as bad as it is now, it'll get even worse. Repeal and replace.